Let me ask you, are you corresponding with a beautiful Ukrainian or Russian woman online, stunningly gorgeous, younger than you, and you're pinching yourself going, I mean, you have two burning questions. First, is she real? And second, is she really into you? If that sounds like it might be you, then you're absolutely going to want to watch this video right now. Let me ask you, if you had an advocate in Ukraine, and this advocate was trained as a human lie detector, would that be of use to you? Well, today we have the rare and special privilege of picking the brain of a former cop who's trained and is just that, an expert human lie detector. Good morning, Sasha. Hi, John. So uh, you worked in police, right? Uh, you were yes, a cop for yes. six years in Ukraine. Tell us a little bit about that. Mm, yes, you're right. I uh, worked in police uh, six years, and uh, I worked in criminal police. And uh, my job uh, sometimes was very close to human trafficking uh, department, and uh, I know this uh, this kind of uh, question inside. Mm -hmm. uh, this kind of question, you mean? the uh, online dating the marriage agency business? Mm, very close, yes, mm -hmm. very close. So you, you've you seen and evolved with it, because I understand human trafficking, you mean uh, women in Ukraine were basically uh, tricked into going into prostitution in Russia, I understand from what you said. Yes, yes, uh, our region, Suma region is very close to Russia, it's uh -huh. bordered to Russia, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, most uh, girls who go to the uh, out of mm -hmm. our country, to another country, mostly Russia, uh, they think uh, that they go uh, to have a good job mm -hmm. in Russia, Moscow, but uh, in, in truth they go to uh, Russia and uh, people uh, get their passport and they work in, as you say. Mm -hmm. It's many, many, They take many. their passport. Yes, uh, yes. So they have no option. They have no money. They have no money, forced. no documents to come back, mm -hmm. and they must mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. what people want. Mm -hmm. I understand. It's sad to say, but it's true. So that's how, maybe um, enlighten us how you became, you know, the human lie detector. Like why you're so good uh, at understanding if somebody's being genuine and true uh, or lying. I must say that uh, most uh, people who worked in police uh, three, five years and more, uh, they know good. Uh, they very, they know our country, Ukrainian culture, very good, and uh, they know. Uh, uh, bad people, they see bad people, uh, good people, and uh, as you say, uh, they see uh, gold digger girls, mm -hmm. bad girls, mm -hmm. and uh, good girls. Mm -hmm. So yes. you, you can spot a gold digger for, from a good girl very yes, quickly. Yes, it's can. Not, not so easy uh -huh. and not so quickly, but uh, I must say that you ask many questions, mm -hmm. and question after question, you understand what you need to ask mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. on what you need to ask new question mm -hmm. and then in the end you understand it's good mm -hmm. or bad people. I understand, I understand. So let me ask you, in the uh, mail order bride industry or the marriage agency industry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, uh, how many good girls do you think sign up for these agencies versus gold diggers, opportunists, bad girls? <laughs> I think uh, one percent. <laughs> One percent what? <laughs> One percent. Uh, it's good girl who want to come to marriage agency, and uh, ninety-nine percent it's gold digger who want. Uh, at first, they want uh, to get some money, mm -hmm. some gift, mm -hmm. some pleasure, and in the end, maybe if they meet good person, mm -hmm. maybe. But uh, in true, they want one. At first, one only money. Mm -hmm. Wow, that dismal, huh? That bad. Yes, it's yeah. <laughs> it's uh, so. It's Ukraine. Why is that? Why do the good girls don't go into the marriage agencies and sign up? Only gold diggers, opportunists, bad girls. Uh, Help at us first, understand. At first, at first, I must say that, uh, my friend, you you must understand that gold uh, good girls uh, don't go to marriage agency because they don't believe in this service, in this marriage agency. They don't believe that uh, they can find good men in this agency mm -hmm. at all. 
They don't believe it. Uh, everybody knows in Ukraine that uh, marriage is it's scam. Mm -hmm. It's common knowledge in Ukraine. Yes, yes. Uh, yes men, right. women in Ukraine, they know that it's an ugly business. It's ugly business and it's not a business, but uh, good people mm -hmm. <laughs> make uh, on this business good money, very big mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's work mm -hmm. day after day. Mm -hmm. Why you say good people? Uh, <laughs> being sarcastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I just want to clarify. So basically, you're saying that good, good girls don't come in because they don't believe. Yes. And that everybody knows that it's only that it's a scam-based business. Yes. Yes. Mostly yes. So Sasha, what what about that second reason uh, that you're talking about? Maybe you can expand up, upon that. Why good girl doesn't go into agency because uh, everybody knows it's a scam. This business. I must say that uh, girls, uh, they everybody know. Mostly, mostly good girls know that uh, if they go to a marriage agency and give them uh, information about uh, themselves, because they go in for a free photo shoot, right? Yes, I yes, mean, that's what yes, all the agencies do. They offer and yes, that's the yes, hook to yes. get the girl to come in. Yes, yes, yes. Ukrainian yes. girls love their picture taken. <laughs> yes, you're right. Yes, and uh, this uh, photo they used in uh, they change name, surname, change all information, and used uh, this uh, photo in internet, uh, like uh, they sell the, their beauty. Mm -hmm. And they steal their identity. Yes, basically, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. And everybody knows that. Yes, everybody. So she's afraid that she's going to, just to recap, she's going to go into agency for a free photo shoot. Mm -hmm. and she's going to find her picture plastered all over the internet, many different websites, a fake name, fake profile. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it gives her a bad reputation. Can be. You're right, yes. Because mm -hmm. uh, people see face, your mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. But uh, information about this person not correct. Right. right. Another, another name, another surname, uh -huh. everything. So the ladies you're saying that go in to register at the marriage agencies, they're just opportunists. They know it's an ugly business. Yes. They know what the risks are of even having their identity stolen. Yes. But they go in to make money. It's a usury business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gold digger. They, okay, they, yes. do, they don't care. Yes, yeah. yes. they don't care about uh, their photo shoot. Mm -hmm. So they can, they don't care about information. They just want to get some money mm -hmm. because in Ukraine it's a difficult life, mm -hmm. and people want to in this place and this place. They want to have some money, mm -hmm. and that's all. Yeah, it's a real sad, startling uh, reality, realization, when you, when you understand that this is the true life. picture in Ukraine. Yes, it's um, a Ukrainian life, my friend. For an agency to have good girls, to pick out good girls from gold diggers, it, it's challenging, is it not? Yes. Very challenging. If an agency, an honest agency, wants to get truly good girls for love and marriage and happy family, it's not easy to sift and sort out yes. the bad from the good. Yes, yes, you're right. you're right. Do you believe you can uh, separate the good ones from the bad ones if, 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 for example, you sit down with them and talk to them, or a psychologist sits down and talks to them and spends time asking them tricky questions? Do you think it's possible? I think yes, it's possible, uh, not 100%, but mm -hmm. it's close. Mm -hmm. And uh, if a psychologist help, help in this work, it's better. Mm -hmm. It's better because uh, I have my opinion. Mm -hmm. Another person, psychology, have his opinion, mm -hmm. and if our opinion same, mm -hmm. it's true. Right. So it's possible if an agency uh, is an honest agency and that's their intention, and they work hard to accomplish that goal. You think it's possible? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's not it's so difficult. Uh -huh. Not so difficult. Not so difficult. If psychologists from Ukraine, uh, we know our culture. Mm -hmm. We know our people. Mm -hmm. They uh, know what to ask, mm -hmm. how to ask. Mm -hmm. I uh, know what I must see, mm -hmm. to what kind I must look mm -hmm. to understand this person. And it's not so difficult. But if you understand that something wrong, mm -hmm. believe. Yeah. It's something wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> and don't accept her. Yes, yeah. yes. Something wrong. Maybe uh, this person don't say true, one hundred percent. But you understand that some, some, something wrong. Something's off. Yes, so, yeah. yes and okay. that's why. Well, thanks, Sasha. Have you heard of these uh, socials that the marriage agencies have? You know, where there's uh, ten uh, <laughs> women for every one man, a ratio of ten to one. You heard of these? 
Yes, I heard, about, I heard about this social party. Mm, my friend, you must uh, understand, it's scam. It's all scam. Uh, good girl, at first, they don't believe in this party. Uh, they don't believe that 10 girls come to meet one man and uh, they get, they find uh, husband. Or, they find their man. Yes, yeah. they find a man because mm -hmm. no, they don't believe it. Uh, it's all scam. All scam and uh, girls, it's only bad girls come to this party because uh, they just want to come to this party to get some uh, money or something. And uh, no, no, nobody, no good girls come to this party at all. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're looking for rich guys to marry, a, yes. a rich American guy. Yes, yeah. yes, at best. Mostly. Yes, yes. So they're opportunists, gold diggers. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I mean, that's what all the 17 ladies that I interviewed on camera told me exactly that. I won't put myself in this environment uh, of, of a ratio of 10 women to every one man because uh, I feel like I'm a product. The man is shopping for chicken, pork, or beef. To buy. To buy. <laughs> yes. I'm not for sale. You know, no self-respecting woman, no good girl is going to put herself in this environment. Uh, what do you think, Sasha, about um, a lot of these agencies, they say, oh, these women, in fact, they want to meet these Western men so bad, <laughs> they will come to you and pay their own way. They come, say the socials in uh, Odessa, they'll come from Kiev, from Lviv, even from Belarus, let's say, and they pay for their own train ticket, mm -hmm. their own hotel for a week, maybe, to mm -hmm. go and meet foreign men. What do you say to that? <laughs> that, that pay their own way. It's mm -hmm. lies. Oh, it's all scam. Because uh, now, um, first, good girl uh, who want to meet, they, as I say, they, they don't believe and they don't have this money. In Ukraine, people uh, get uh, $100 or maybe 200 maximum. Mm -hmm. At per all. month. Per, per month, month yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't, they don't want to pay money for nothing. Mm -hmm. They, they don't, don't have go. this kind of money. Yes. I mean, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's a month or two uh, of savings. Yes. And they don't have savings anyway. Yes, yes, uh -huh. you're right. Uh -huh. And uh, pay uh, money for what? To come to party, to, to, to find that they don't believe at all. And, and Sasha, uh, if we can tell the viewing public, uh, if, if they ask this exact question to any Ukrainian, honest Ukrainian person, would they get the same answer that you just gave now? <laughs> they say, all, all this women say it's scam. Uh -huh. I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's some kind of joke, that's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you propose money, you see, it's gold digger. If you, she agree, I say, okay, okay, I come. Mm -hmm. And that's why... So if you pay her to come? Yes. Come. As, as, com as scam company pay, pay this uh, gold diggers go, pay money mm -hmm. to, to come to this party. Mm -hmm. Do they in fact pay money to these girls to come to these parties? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Otherwise she don't come? She don't come, no. Mm -hmm. For what? She must understand, gold digger must understand, oh, I come and I get money. Mm -hmm. Good girl, she even go to this party because she understands the scam and she don't believe it, say goodbye. Mm -hmm. I don't need this. Mm -hmm. Sad, but that's that's the truth of it. Yes, Sasha. Um, what would be your three biggest tips uh, to Western men to help avoid the scam agencies, the scam girls, and meet a real good girl for love and marriage? My friend, uh, first I must say that you at first you must check uh, agency, marriage agency very close. You must check everything, all information about this agency and uh, uh, more of this, you must uh, speak with client of this agency uh, to understand what they, what this agency do for, for the client, what they don't do, uh, everything, everything. Then uh, if you want to find good girl, you must come to Ukraine to meet your girl face to face because uh, like stay offline don't do the paper no 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 letters my friend no letters because it's all scam you must understand that if you write letters you just spend your time and your money that's all mm -hmm. they're writing in fact a picture yes and it's an employee of the agency that's responding to you not that lady that lady that girl doesn't even know you exist right? yes yes mm -hmm. yes you can write letters to good girl but it can be <laughs> Sergey, boy, mm -hmm. or old man, mm -hmm. just 
Mm-hmm. Sit Somebody that speaks sit, English, sit, right? Yes, okay, sit, English. sit and write letters, yeah. all these letters. Yeah. And uh, second, when you uh, understand that you go to Ukraine, uh, you must uh, find good person in Ukraine who help you to find this uh, good girl for you, especially for you. Uh, you must uh, find a good, good man in Ukraine. Uh, in agency or not, who help you and uh, who uh, take care about you. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's good at spotting the gold diggers, yes. the opportunists from the real genuine Ukrainian. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Who, who mm-hmm. said to you... Like an advocate. Yes. Or an agency that you, you verified. Yes. That they're good, they find good girls. Yes. Uh, who said to you it's scam? Or don't do this because it's scam and explain you why it's scam. Uh, and when you come to Ukraine, uh, try to find your own translator for meetings. Because uh, if somebody proposed to you, oh, I, we have translator, you know about stories. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's classic translator scam. Yes. The translator makes a piece of that hourly rate, what is it, 15 or $20. She gets paid, and the girl gets paid that you're yes. dating. Yes, yeah. gold digger. If you, if you find gold digger, uh, you uh, gold gold digger get money. Mm-hmm. Translator get money. Mm-hmm. Uh, you An remember agency. Of agency. Yes, yeah. you remember the story about uh, two flats. Yes, mm-hmm. this guy pay money for, yeah. <laughs> for two flats, yeah. and they go to notary uh, with uh, he gets translator. Married. Yes, yeah, with, he got married. <laughs> with translator of this. Uh, beautiful girl and uh, this man pay money for two flat and uh, write uh, documents and he sings that yeah basically <laughs> you know what happened is in a nutshell uh, he married a girl from Sumi here and uh, her friend was the translator officially at the notary's office and the notary is obviously on the take also getting paid also because what the document actually said is I gift you, I give you these two flats worth over $150,000 uh, and the translator, the friend of the, uh, the, the wife said mm, yeah, mm, this is a normal uh, mm-hmm. uh, land transfer document uh, and so when he got married and he signed the documents um, he didn't know until they divorced that uh, he actually gave his wife these two flats. So as he gift. had no legal as, as, a, gift. as a gift. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. There's lots of scams from very little money. Uh, it's so tricky, too. They start easily, gently, and they work, mm-hmm. work their way up. And some of these scammers, uh, professional scammers, for example, can be scamming you for months, even years. Yes, yes, uh, you're right. To you're go right. for the big bucks. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, you fr- my friend, you pay money day after day and think that in the end of this way you get what you want. Mm-hmm. But Relationship don't believe, beautiful. don't believe, yes. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you must check everything. And if you understand that in your relation uh, something wrong, mm-hmm. believe something wrong. Mm-hmm. Sasha, in fact, talking about scams and scammers, we have so many clients and prospective clients that hundreds and hundreds in any given year that have been scammed and bad. Tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some guys married uh, and uh, the scam continues, right? So um, you public have asked us for a deep PI service where we'll actually go be your advocate and find out for sure if she's real and if she's really in, into you and in love with you, uh, interested in you and wants a future with you. So we have just launched uh, Match Guarantee's private detective service and Sasha is the head of the department. Um, maybe talk to us, uh, to our viewers a little bit about uh, what you can do, uh, what's available in this service, what documents you can vary and verify and how you go about it. Uh, in Ukraine we have 22 region now Mm-hmm. to enter the region and uh, we can go to every each of this region to find info, all information about person. So, about so passport, you go to the passport yes, office yes. And, and you have government level, level 
a help, we'll just say, right? To verify, let's say, passports. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, you can't pick up the phone. You need to drive there. I need to go, yes. Yeah. Drive. So um, Sasha drives there and verifies the passport. Um, what are the things you do when you go there? Uh, we can uh, do photos on this place, video mm -hmm. on this place. We can Fo speak. Photos of her residence? Yes, and yes. Her? And her mm -hmm. and uh, with who she speak. Uh -huh. uh, talk to uh, neighbors of this, mm -hmm. uh, where she live. You get, and, and you get a lot of intel from the neighbors, a lot of information. Yes. About yes, her. Yes, yes. Uh, her reputation, her conduct. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. I can get all information about this person, mm -hmm. um, but I must, I must go to this place. Yeah, and then you, can, you can, if the client wants, actually meet her. Go, go find her. Go to her residence. Yes, and yes. Speak if client, with her. if if client want, I uh -huh. can uh, meet with this person, with this girl, uh -huh. and uh, ask uh, questions what uh, client want to know and. Uh, if uh, what what question I know I need to know, and uh, in the end I said my opinion, mm -hmm. it's true uh, or not. And, and give us an idea because um, guys watching this video, how are you going to know that she's really into the guy, the client? She's in love. She 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 plans a future. She's serious, in other words. You know, how can you know by talking to her? Give us give us an idea. Hmm. I must say that uh, it's uh, too many questions, and uh, we can uh, prepare a little situation mm -hmm. for this girl. And when uh, she uh, gets the situation, we understand. We, pro we can even we propose uh, this girl uh, to meet another boy, another guy, and we see she want mm. or she don't want. Mm -hmm. Yes, if she want, we can. Mm -hmm. prepare the situation mm -hmm. and in the end how she mm -hmm. do we understand mm -hmm. so many uh, many different questions you ask her to understand yes, if she's it's lying. not it's uh, not so simple to say in one word right it's yes. many questions layered on top of many questions yes it's part after part way after right, way right and bit by bit you see if she's real or she's lying she's deceptive yes yes in the end uh -huh. i uh, i uh, prepare my opinion about this person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and then, like you say, if you're really not sure, or the ultimate test is, uh, offer to introduce her to a wealthy guy and see how she reacts to that. Yes. Yeah, see if she's serious about the client. Yes, mm -hmm. we can do many situations. Mm -hmm. So what we guarantee at the Magic RT Private Detective uh, Service is that we will pro provide you proof of Sasha's conclusion. So the conclusion that he comes to, we will back it up, we will corroborate it with proof. And, uh, and a report as to how and why he comes to that uh, that conclusion. So you'll be able to finally, you know, sleep uh, at night, you know, rest assured <laughs> that uh, whatever the situation is, bad news, good news, uh, but you'll know for sure. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Better know uh, bad situation before exactly. you, you get in the situation. Yeah. And that's why. Yeah. It's better to know than to stick your head in the sand and, yes, and not yes, know and just yes. uh, hope, hope and hope. Yes. Uh, and it snowballs and gets worse and worse and worse. Um, so if you think you might want our PI service and Sasha to actually be your advocate and go find out for sure, verify all documents. Even Sasha, you can verify, correct me if I'm wrong, her income. Uh, her marital status, whether she has children, you can verify yes, all of yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, basically, you can look underneath her fingernails. Everything. Yes, you're right. Yes, uh, you're right. Right, right, right. Um, so, if you're interested or you think you might be interested, simply shoot me an email personally at joe at match guarantee, spelled with a Y. Give me all the details you can. We need, at minimum, her first name, last name, and date of birth. Yes, right? uh, and it was. it will be good if uh, uh, we know number. Yeah, her phone number. Phone number, yeah. yes. Phone Ukraine number. phone Basically, number. Basically, yeah, yeah, send us everything that you have. We will give you a quotation so you'll know uh, roughly uh, what it will cost you. And then we will organize, if that sounds good to you, we'll, we will uh, set up a Skype conference call with you and uh, drill down and find out all the nitty gritty details on your particular situation. And um, then you can make a decision um, if uh, you want to hire us or not. Okay? Thanks very much. Um, Sasha, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And um, look forward to doing the PI service with you. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Bye.